What's going on guys? Psycho Killer here, and welcome back to my channel. Today is Tuesday, so it is time for a new event week in Red Dead Online. This event week, as always, is good from today, March 9th, through next Monday, March 15th, 2021. In this video, we're going to talk about the weekly discounts and bonuses, as well as some news and what's going around the community about what to expect in the coming weeks in Red Dead Redemption Online. As always, if this video is helpful for you at all, don't forget to smash the like button and consider subscribing if you're new so you don't miss any of the videos I release regarding Red Dead Redemption, Grand Theft Auto, and Rockstar Games as a whole. So, without wasting any more time, let's go ahead and get into the video. This week marks the final seven days of Outlaw Pass number four, and a brand new set of rewards is just around the corner, and we will talk about that later in the video. S current pass holders this week will receive a free treasure map just for playing as well as 5000 XP to help push towards rank 100. So if you have Outlaw Pass number 4, make sure you log in this week so you can reap those benefits. Meanwhile, all Red Dead Redemption Online players this week will receive a reward for a free ability card. Bounty Hunters can make a killing in several ways this week. Firstly, all licensed Bounty Hunters will receive 2000 roll XP. In addition to that, They'll get double roll XP for completing any bounty, plus an offer for 30% off of any established or distinguished bounty hunter item. Tracking down legendary bounties will yield rewards all of their own. On top of the previously mentioned double roll XP, bounty hunters will also earn double the usual ability card XP points for playing any legendary bounty missions over the next seven days. And if you have a prestigious bounty hunter license, you can tackle those three-part missions that can be found in the different towns and receive the exact same rewards as the legendary bounties. Rockstar goes on to tell us that you can find Tobin Anderson's Wreckers in Ansburg, the Butchers of Benedict Pass in Armadillo, Los Pasajeros in Benedict Point, Thaddeus Walters Men in Blackwater, the Three Widows in Emerald Station, the Bellingham Brothers in Rhodes, Bartholomew Brown's Gentleman in Rig Station, Hoare, Roach, and Galt in Sandini, The Initiates in Strawberry, Addison Wise Jailbreakers in Tumbleweed, Allen, De La Mare, and Fitch all in Valentine, Bradshaw Colton Penn can be found in Van Horn, and Theodore Xavier's Hunt can be found at Wallace Station. Rockstar says whether you gun these criminals down or apprehend them alive is up to you, but either way, in addition to the normal cash reward, turning in any legendary bounty will land you a gift of 25 poison throwing knives and 100 rounds of express rifle ammo. Head to your local bounty board to pursue the undesirables and launch your next skirmish. Just a few weeks ago, Rockstar released a new source of employment telegrams, and if you haven't already added a new source of employment telegrams to your satchel, be sure to check your mailbox, either at your camp lockbox or local post office, for word from your mysterious pen pal Jay. Completing the Outrider by successfully escorting a delivery wagon from B Brittle Brush Trawl any time before March 15th will earn you an offer for 30% off of the Bounty Hunter wagon. This town... This week we have discounts. We have 40% off of all retail costs of all rifles, 30% off of a Bounty Hunter weapon variance. That's going to be the Schofield or the Bolt Action Rifle, 30% off of all offhand holsters and the Reinforced Lasso, and that also includes the Bounty Hunter roll offhand holsters as well as all the other roll holsters, offhand holsters. And we also have 30% off of all ability cards and ability card upgrades. Furthermore, we have the same limited of time clothing that we've had the last couple of weeks. So if you see anything there you like, make sure you jump in there and grab it, as I suspect that it will be gone when the Newsweek hits next Tuesday. Moving on to Prime Gaming, this week Red Dead Online players who connect their Rockstar Social Club account to Prime Gaming will receive rewards for a free Bounty Hunter license, an award for the trimmed Amethyst Bounty Wagon livery, and in addition, players who connect to Prime Gaming before March 15th will receive a reward for 5,000 Club XP, an offer for 50% off the repeating shotgun, and 200 shotgun slugs. So those Prime Gaming benefits are obviously the same as they have been. So, as I said at the beginning of the video, the 
Outlaw Pass number four ends on Monday, and Rockstar says in the Newswire that a new set of rewards are just around the corner. Um, a lot of the uh, people in the community have speculated that we're going to get Outlaw Pass number five next Tuesday, but Rockstar has been known to pin Outlaw Passes with DLC, and I do not believe that we're going to get DLC next Tuesday. If I had to guess, I would look closer to April 1st. If you look at the rewards that you get from the Outlaw Pass number 4, a lot of them don't expire until May 31st, which a lot of people would think would point to June 1st for the next Outlaw Pass, and subsequently the DLC. But Rockstar is not really known to do things in an expectant way. So, based on what we know, when the Outlaw Pass ends, how Rockstar works, and when the rewards end, I would expect the Outlaw Pass number 5 to be released in two weeks from this coming Tuesday. And here's why I think that. Rockstar's really big about giving us a couple crappy event weeks, and then one decent one right before they drop a DLC and a new Outlaw Pass. And we haven't had a two-week event week yet, and really we haven't had a horrible event week. Um, even this week, if you think about the Bounty Hunter XP that's being given out for the Bounty Hunter role, um, if you have a prestigious Bounty Hunter license and your role's maxed out, as you gain that role XP, you're going to be getting gold. So we're still getting extra gold this week than we normally would, and it's paying out double uh, roll XP, which m to me for rank 30 bounty hunters, you're getting double gold for ma for ranking up in the bounty hunter license. So I would say that next Tuesday we will likely get a two week event week, which will lead us to a small springtime DLC. I don't expect it to be anything large, dudes. Um, I expect some telegram missions possibly, and maybe another expansion to the trader role which is what's being speculated and seemingly is being found in the files so that's really all I've got for you this week I don't have any solid information other than we know what's in outlaw pass number five I do not have a video on what's in outlaw pass number five it's not really that great and to me it wasn't worth making a 10 minute long-winded hot breath video or but if you do want to know what you can find in Outlaw Pass number 5, which data miners have found in the files, you can go check out Hazard Gaming and Austin BMX. They both have videos out of what is exactly in Outlaw Pass number 5. So, that's all I got for you guys this week. Make sure, again, if the video was helpful for you at all, you smash that like button. And don't forget to subscribe if you are new so you don't miss out on any of the content I release here on the channel. Let me know in the comments section below when you think the new DLC is going to come out, whether you think it's going to be right after this Outlaw Pass ends, whether the Outlaw Pass is going to come out without a DLC, or any combination of what I mentioned, or anything that you think that might be different. Make sure you let me know in the comments section down below. And, as always guys, I will see you on the flip side.